Hello, Emon Productions here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a web swap on a T Web Glove. Yeah, I'm going to be related with an H Web. It is mainly like how you put this on this without leaving any holes. And there's also something that I want to show you. So, this. This is a basket web glove, which is pretty obvious, but you can tell that this is actually the same, the same formation, like the same web. You can tell by the whole numbers. You can count the numbers, and you'll find that there are a total of 18 holes on this glove, uh, nine on the left and nine on the right. And on this glove, you can also tell that there are nine holes. You can just count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are also nine holes on the left and nine holes on the right. Which means that actually this basket web could be put on this uh, T web style glove. And this T web style could be put on this basket web. And thus, uh, I believe on the internet that not many people show us how to do uh, the proper way to release a web like this. And you want to uh, release a different style web onto this kind of glove, a nine, uh, no, an eighteen hole glove. <clears throat> and so, I'm gonna be showing you how to do it. This is another glove, which uh, you can do it in this way, like the laces are straight here, to fill out the holes, the four holes, the four left out holes, and there is another glove here that you can lace it in a uh, X style way, like this. The laces here that you can tell they are put in crosses, four crosses. So as long as you find your glove have 18 holes, nine on the right and nine on the left, that you can lace these different webs on your glove. And yes, I'll be showing you how to do the eye web, how to lace an eye web on a basket style web glove uh, on the very right and here's another picture that uh, the, cr the single post cross web and this style web uh, the Ichiro style web and this kind of unique style web uh, I believe it's called a modified trapeze web also these webs as long as you find 18 holes on the glove you can use this way to, to lace the glove but however as obvious as it is shown that you cannot lace uh, any kind, any kind of different style web on uh, a six finger uh, web style glove because the web itself is attached to the glove, so you cannot remove the web itself. First, uh, you're gonna have to cut both ends like this. Just cut out a little bit. Oh. These laces are super thick. And you're gonna put your needle onto the laces. Gonna thread them in. A cross requires a little bit of strength and luck. Cause sometimes if you pull it uh, hard enough, the laces will come off the needle. Uh. Okay, so now I thread it in. And you have to do the same on the other end. So I kind of uh, recommend you, if you really want to do it in a quicker way, you'll need two needles. But for now, I only got one. So uh, just bear with me. Okay, gonna be cutting it enough. Put, it, put those debris aside. And... Uh, Hopefully it works, cause if it doesn't, yeah, it, it's pretty sick, crazily sick. I'm, I'm trying my best to thread it in, but it seems like it won't work for, uh, work for me every time. So I'm gonna be cutting it a little bit thinner, cause uh, if, if you can see, 
that uh, focus, focus, focus. Yeah. So, um, yeah. No, I'm trying not to let this focus on. Okay. So this uh, lace is actually pretty thick. Okay. Now I've unlaced the original T web on the glove. So now we'll be putting this. Oh, the new web just smells terrific. You can smell the 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 stair height. Um, place place up okay, here. So as you can see, when I'm about to lace this, we'll leave four holes. One, two, three, four. Four holes on both sides. You can either leave them there or you can fill them up with laces. I recommend it to fill them up with laces because at first it looks a lot uglier if you don't. You just leave it there, leave them there. And second, um, debris or dust or dirt may, may come into those uh, holes which makes your glove going to be deteriorating a lot faster. So. What they're gonna do so first, just like how you will release a normal edge, web, you put your laces through. You have to measure them. Try to make both ends the same thing. No, almost there. Almost there. No. Make sure when the uh, laces go into the hose, hose, you won't, you don't want your laces to twist. So always make sure they are on the same side. Because uh, once you get into those holes and you you've already twisted them before you went to the hole, uh, there will be a whole lot of hard work for you to uh, make them make them into the right side. Uh, yeah. Leave a little bit uh, space. Don't pull it too tight, cause you know there will be a lot of lace coming through here. So you need to leave a little bit space. Like, yeah, that will be great. For how much space do you want to leave it? Uh, it all depends on your personal preference. Someone likes their web to be pretty loose and they're fine with it, uh, then they, they can leave a bigger space. But for me, I want it to be a little bit, uh, just a little bit tighter. So, yeah, and that's about it. And so for this part, you want your laces to go through here and with the right, with the right side turning up, so it's kind of this. With the raw side facing up, so that when you turn on the other side, the smooth side is up. Okay, so okay. And I'm gonna do it on the other side. Uh, I really should have bought two needles. That'll make the work a lot easier. Anyways. Once again, give a little space here. Yeah. And then do the same thing. And make sure that 
the don't get twisted so much and pull. Okay, so now you've got the smooth side up. Now, tricky part. This goes in here. this oh damn don't no 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 don't this is the worst part possible okay now we got the laces you can tighten this up to the part that you prefer yeah a little bit tighter. Can pull it a little bit. Okay. It's the way that I want it. Now do it on the other side. I recommend it to do it simultaneously so that your glove won't be unbalanced. The web would not look that unbalanced. Come on, it takes hard work. Okay, so do it on the other side goes in here, right, and you pull. It doesn't require a lot of strength to do this kind of job, so and boys and girls could unlace their own glove. Now, laces go up. We have to first go through this hole and then this hole. Same on the other side. Like that. Like that. Rough side up. Always remember that in this part, rough side is up. Yeah, rough side is up. So that you, when you flip, the smooth side is up. Okay, once you're through, pull as tight as you want it because we won't leave any spaces here. And now, here comes the tricky part. So now you, if you just Lays it here, yeah. Now I have to pull the bar onto the glove. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now you go through this hole first and out. Oh, damn. Now we're gonna be doing it smooth side up through this hole. Don't pull it too tight. And then uh, onto the other one. You can see here that the smooth sides are up. And then you have you can pull.
make sure to pull them tight. We don't want to leave any spaces here. There. Yeah. So now we have to fill up this hole. So what you're gonna do is laces will go down, right? And then it will come up and it will come down to this original hole again. So this is the straight how you do the straight straight web with straight laces on the side. First, this will go down. Always make sure that the smooth side is up in this process. Okay. So now twist it a little bit so that it matches. Okay now. Coming out in this hole and here to here, the hole here. Twisting a little bit, yeah. Down, no, 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 no. Okay. Now it's full, right? So now I'm gonna twist it a little bit again, and here. We're gonna go in the same hole again. Uh, so originally you want your glove to be smooth side smooth side up smooth side up even here just like the other time but this time it's, it's different you have to twist it a little bit like this so that it's, it's actually from here when you see it it goes rough side in so that when you pull out here it goes smooth side up so now you just have to pull very hard so that it comes through. Sometimes your needle will fail on you, but it doesn't matter. You just have to pull with other tools. Yeah. So now smooth side up. And now the laces goes through here. Uh, again, smooth side up. So now you find it. Oh my gosh. So now you find it. It's smooth side up. So now it's got the smooth side up. Uh, perhaps you can twist it a little bit here. Okay, so now it got smooth side up. And once again, you need to go through this hole here. Tighten it up here. Yeah, just tighten it up. 
Mm. Now we will leave it here. So here you also go smooth side up and go right out. And you go into this hole again. This hole again. And also it's smooth side up. to do is pull yeah, awesome. See? oh my god no 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 it's not good look you can see that I've accidentally twisted the leather here. The lace is here, so I have to do it again. <sighs> okay, so now make sure that all laces are not twisted. You can go through. Process once again. Okay, here. Nice. It's dirty. Just need to pull through like this. Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah, that's how I want it to be. Now you pull the pieces. that you want it leave no marks here so now you got one side with the straight laces pattern and then you do the same with you can do the same with the other part or you can do it with a cross whip style so now I'm gonna show you the other way how to do cross whip style base here So first, you also go into this hole here. Uh, okay. Also go in. Pull. Yeah, I can see. That. Okay, so now we're in. Now we don't go in here. We have to go up. We just go up. Yeah. Make sure the laces are not twisted in between. Yeah, like this. Now, smooth side up, go into this hole. It comes out on this hole. Now here you can leave 
a little bit of space because you may want your um, needle to go through under to go under the previous lace but uh, whether you want to go under or above it's all personal preference so for me I'll go under so I'll leave a little more space uh, tighten them a little bit more uh, can kind of squeeze it where you want it yeah so now I've cr created a little hole yeah okay. I can tighten it up a little bit more yeah now make sure that it's also smooth side up you can put your needle through this hole like this and it will come out and you can see the cross whip see so here is the cross whip and once you're up you go down into this hole again here I'll go through again This time you also go smooth side up. This is filming again. The needle filming again. This ink matter. Oh yeah, this. Okay, so once you're in, remember if you want the um the smooth side up you have to twist it once again so when you're really close to the hole here twist it twist it yeah just twist it so that it will go smooth side up okay, so okay so you can see that i've twisted so it goes smooth side up. Both are smooth sides. Cool. Yeah, pull as hard as you want. Yeah. So now you got the first X. You can see here. First X. First X. Now, smooth side up, go to this lace, this, oh, sorry, go to this hole, through, You don't have to leave any holes here, so tighten it as hard as flat as you can. Don't need to leave any holes here. Okay, so now, uh, instead of going up here, you have to go down. Also, smooth side up. You come through this hole and then go up this hole. And in order to make that identical, I'll go above this lace instead of under. So I can pull as tight as I want it. You don't have to leave any holes, any spaces. Okay, so now I'll go above here, but I'll go under here. I'll go under this hole again and come out here so that uh, I can make the list come through okay so once 
if you're going through it'll be like this you're just gonna pull yeah. okay so now you're up in now you've created a side with the straight laces and another side with cross axis yeah see true cross axis no you have to do is um, go through here and out from this hole And tighten this up a little bit like this. So now I'll do the other part, which is the same. It's a repeated move. Just come down to here and come out from here. Okay, so now once we've gone through these two parts, uh, we're gonna go up from uh, here to here and here to here. Okay, so you're gonna wanna do this simultaneously too. Because if you don't do that, uh, your glove will kind of be, uh, the web will kind of be uneven. So rough side up, rough side up. Cool. Uh, remember once again, just don't, just don't pull it into the end. Leave a little space here so that uh, the laces here go through. Okay. Uh, So, uh, here. Same with a uh, rough side up. So, I guess. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Hope it doesn't twist. If it, if it really twists, yeah, it doesn't. Because if it really twists, it would be a pain. And yes, to get it adjusted. Okay, so pull. Here too, just pull it confidently. Just pull, and then here, same here. We're gonna go rough side up. Cause if we go rough side up here on the flip side, we're gonna go uh, smooth side up here. Same thing. Still, it's raw side up. And same with the other side. You also want to go rough side up. Confidently. Okay. Now, 
the laser is gonna go through here, the hole here. Once again, smooth side up. Oh, yeah, let's do it. Let's pull. I would like to do it simultaneously once again so that the glove will, will seems to be a little bit more even the web the web will be a little bit more even this here too just pull now you got your web even you can slightly adjust it to your liking. Okay, so now here we're gonna go in the next available hole. Uh which is sorry, the light. I need a light. Yeah, which is here, yeah. And out through this hole like this you can pull it tightly because we don't need any space here so yeah I can pull it tight here all right As for this part, it's the same. Same here. Uh, Thread into the next available hole. <clears throat> cool. Okay. And now it's a little bit tricky because one lace is gonna go inside, not through the palm area, it, it, not through the palm area, it go, needs to go underneath the leather between uh, just the leather, uh, just this little thin piece of leather, not through it. So I'm gonna do it first. First you enter this hole and you can see there are two holes available, right? So pop it through, just like this. and. Uh, See here, we don't go all the way to the underneath part. We just pull it, make okay. it pull it, pull it to your liking. Now I can go straight, straight up here. We go back to this spot, and then you pull. But just don't just remember not pull it too tight because you have another list going through the same hole here. And now for this part. Here, 
I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go inside the same hole. Okay, now because I'm in, you can kind of uh, measure and uh, kind of make it aligned, not to go together, kind of make it aligned. The needle will go through. Sorry, the needle will go through this this hole. So kind of measure it, and then you just it's kind of kind of kind of hard. Nice. Now, just pull it. Okay. So now you can, you can tell that here they're aligned. They're aligned. And then you can go through the last available hole and come out here. Tighten up the laces here. I think you could kind of want to uh, tighten up your liking, but I prefer to. Uh, that's the end of this. The web stick with the glue. And so, you should go through. Sorry, you should go through this hole. I have tightened up these laces and this should be it for the whole lacing of this kind of web style. Unless you just need to tighten up these laces here and it's all done. Well, um, again, sorry, here. this and just tighten it up and now you have it the uh, the web swap how you can turn a basket web or a T web into an edge web thanks for watching and do remember to subscribe like and share